Schools in Georgia were among the first to reopen this summer, and at least three districts there are already seeing large outbreaks. Some parents blame the crisis on vague pull-up policies over the use of wearing protective face masks in school. Well, tonight, CBS's Mark Strassman kicks off our week-long series, The New Normal, Back to School, reporting from the hot zone of Georgia. There could be several skids in our school right now who have it. And Seniors Hope Terhoon and Riley Meadows are COVID scared. Jefferson City High is typical for Georgia. Masks are only recommended. The girls say maybe half the students wear one. Every single day, I think that there's less and less kids wearing masks. They started a petition, mandate masks. Roughly 2,000 people signed it already. Why are the masks so important to you? I just don't understand like why everyone wouldn't want to wear one to keep other people safe. In Georgia's Cherokee County, seniors at Etowah High flashed perfect smiles. Not one mask in the picture. And remember this photo? At North Paulding High, kids without masks jammed a hallway like a Drake concert. At least 35 people here have since tested positive. But many parents oppose masks. One repeated false information at Paulding County School Board meeting. We do not have enough evidence to support wearing children wearing masks. We don't have enough evidence to mandate that. Georgia's red hot for COVID, averaging around 3,000 new cases a day. But only 43 of the state's 181 school districts mandate masks for teachers and students. To say that face masks are not enforceable is a lie. State Representative Beth Moore launched Report My School. This whistleblower email account got more than 800 complaints, many from teachers. They're being told if they don't like it, they should just quit their job. Meadows and Terhoon worry crowded hallways will spread the virus. I feel like it's inevitable that it's going to happen to our school. It did in Cherokee County. Through the first two weeks of school, more than 1,700 students and staff were quarantined. At least 120 people tested positive. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Jackson County, Georgia.